Okay, are we ready to go live? No, just keep us. No, sorry, sir. Okay. Right. And just to let you know that we are live on YouTube now. Um, we're just going to start allowing everyone to come in. Right. So are we live? I'm assuming we're live. Uh, we're just live on YouTube. If you just bear with me, inshallah, and then uh, shall I allow everyone to come in now? Okay. David, can you just? I don't know why that keeps coming up on our phone. I don't want that. Because you're closed. Just close. Okay. Right. You're okay. gonna have to stop. Go back to that thing again. Okay. Shall we allow? Should we allow everyone to come in? Be good. You're gonna be good. Yeah, okay. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone joining now. We will be starting in the next um, couple of seconds or a few seconds, hopefully, inshallah. Um, is everybody in the room now? Stop. Yes, everyone's coming in now. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and hello and welcome to Mini Chef Live. Thank you for joining us after a very long time. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes to let everybody join us. There will be some people still logging in. So we're going to give it a couple of minutes. Um, if you want, you can unmute or raise your hand to be unmuted. If you want to say something in the chat, feel free to make a comment or if you say hello, you can. So we have people coming in as we speak. We also have today here with us, Zainab. We have Zainab from Don't Tell Mum. We have Maria. And Yahya also from Don't Tell Mum. So what I mean by Don't Tell Mum is it's their baking business and that's what they're called. So hello everyone again. Does anyone like to say hello? Hello. 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 Hi, who am I speaking to? Hello. 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 Would you like to give me some name? Hello. 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 Um, Amina. Hello, madam. It's Sarah. It's Amina. I can hear Amina. Hey, Hi, Amina. And Sarah. I'm Sarah. Hello. Hi, I'm Amber. And Amber. Amber. I can hear Amber. I tell you what, guys, when you said your name, if you could mute yourself, that would be great because then I can hear the next people. So, can we do it this way? Let's stay muted. And if you want to say something, Raise your hand in the box at the bottom and you will be unmuted just for a couple of seconds by Big Chef Hasid in the background. Isn't that right, Mr. H? Or, um, for a message. Okay. If they could raise their hands to speak. If we could keep everybody, if it's all been muted, but if you would like to speak, raise your hand in the chat or if you have the raise hand option and then you will be unmuted one by one, if that's possible. Uh, sure, no one's raised their hand. Okay, that's fine. So no one's raised their hand at the moment. And hello to everybody who's just joined. We did a little welcome. So welcome back to Mini Chef Live. We are going to wait just a couple of minutes. There's somebody who's raised their hand. If you could um, unmute them, please. Big Chef, if you could unmute the person who's raised their hand. Uh, I don't know who raised their hand. But... Hello, I'm Myra. Who wants to make host? Have you been made host? Um, Mayra just unmuted herself. So, Mayra, would you like to speak again? Okay. Uh, no, I'm Mayra. Also, uh, hey, hey guys, sorry, we've got a little bit of second for error. Just wait for a second, and I will definitely speak more. Um, we'll start Thomas, please. Hi, everyone. Thomas, can you just unmute yourself? 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 Thomas, uh, yes, I will do that now. Thank you very much. Okay, so once that's done, then definitely we can start talking to everyone. We have somebody called Myra who's raised her hand. Myra, if you're able to unmute yourself, I'm happy for you to go ahead and do that. Hello? Hello, who am I speaking to? Maida. Myra, how old yeah. are you, Myra? Five. You're five. Wow, Myra, this is so exciting for you. 
We thank you for coming to bake with us. I need, have you got all your ingredients ready? Yeah. Brilliant, excellent. Thank you, Myra. Stay tuned and make sure you follow everything, okay? Okay, well done, Myra. If you could now mute yourself and you could lower your hand for me. Okay, so um, I don't know, Sarah, do you think we're ready to get going or do you think I should, are there people still coming in? Um, okay, I'm going to give it another one minute and then we will start on our baking live. So it's been a very, very long time since we've done baking live. As you know, it's been a really crazy lockdown. Have you guys been having fun in lockdown? Definitely. You have? Are you sure? <laughs> so what kind of things have you guys been doing in lockdown? If you could type it out in the chat below, just while we wait another minute for people to join in. Also, I'm going to start talking to you about some of the things that we're using. Hi from Radia and all her children. Hello, Amina, Sami from Amina and uh, Saleh. Nice to see you guys with us today. And your friends are here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to start talking to you all now about some of the things that we're using. If you have any questions about what you have and what we're going to be using, put them in the chat now, because that will make it easier for us to get started. Uh, thank you for all the comments coming in. We will get um, Chef Kate to the background to start reading them. And um, hopefully we will be able to answer some of those questions soon. We have more people entering. I'm sorry for the slow start, but we have to do that to allow most people to get into the Zoom so we can get baking together. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you a lot about is the oven. Can everybody put their oven on? If you have not put your oven on, please, mums and dads, empty the oven and pop those ovens on. 160 C for a fan oven, 180 C for another oven, and it's gas mark four, around about there, that will do. So it's 160 C for a fan oven, if Chef H you could type that in. And anything that you may have missed, it will be in the chat below under Chef H. You'll be able to see some of the things I'm talking about here. So we've still got lots of people entering. Welcome to Mini Chef, if you have just arrived, thank you for joining us. We have been kind of buying some time to allow latecomers to join us, because we don't want you guys to miss out. So I am Big Chef Sophie, and this is Yahya, Maria, and Zainab, and they also run their business called at Don't Tell Mum for baking cakes and stuff. So it's nice to see you all. You're probably either friends of theirs, or friends of mine, or just people that have heard about us. I'm really grateful to have you here with us today. We're going to get talking again. So the ovens need to be preheated. If you could pop your oven on for about 160C fan, 180 C don't have a fan, and it's about gas mark four will do. Okay, I'm going to move on to talking about the dish that we're going to use. I know I sent a little video about the kind of dishes that we can use. So this is the one that I'm using today. I had another one in the kitchen, but I found this. So this is another one. So also Chef H for a C fan. All done. Okay, so oven temperature for in the chat below. And this is the one that I'm using now. This is oven safe. Now we must have the height of the dish and you'll find out why later. Also, I did put in the comments, um, in the messages, that your mum or dad will have to help you with one part of this because it's going to be very, very hot. Um, I have a message there saying I don't have that. If that's referring to a dish, you can use a cake pan, you can use um, a, a bowl, you can use anything that can go in the oven. Um, as long as it's oven proof, and if it's glass, it will tell you underneath, or it's or metal will do, or a metal saucepan even, with metal handles, okay? So again, we've got lots of people still entering the room. We are going to get cooking soon because we have to get going, don't we kids? You have a question from- I have uh, a question. Sephora, I have a question. Uh, Nelly, I'm okay, so is that Sephora? Sephora, have you unmuted? Would you like to unmute yourself to have a question? Maybe, I think. Uh, I think uh, mine is tinier, so- Yours is tinier? Okay, yeah. is it a lot smaller than this? Uh, I don't know. Would you like, you'll have to get your mummy to have a look. If it's a lot smaller than this, then you may have to keep some of the mixture out. Or you could get another dish and split it into two, but ideally you want to keep it into one. It can be similar to this. It can be round. It can be a long one even, and a, a little bit smaller, but longer. So don't worry about that. You have a go. You may need to find another dish <coughs> Think it's not going to fit but if you could all please mute yourselves we're going to get going right so the first thing i'd like you to do is you should have your 80 grams of butter 
already weighed out for you by your parents or yourself. So if you could write that in chat. No worries if you're late, Javeri, I hope you can catch up. We've only just started. So anyone who's just joined, we're just starting now. Have your ovens ready. We're getting the butter sorted. So butter, 80 grams of butter. Make sure that's weighed. It's salted or unsalted? It doesn't matter, but preferably salted. We are using salt today. If it's unsalted, pop a pinch of salt in there. Okay, so yakya. What I want yakya to do, and I want, want you guys to do, is get your microwavable mug. So it mustn't have silver or gold on there. What happens if you put silver or gold in the microwave? Right now? It melts. Try again. It's a it burns up. Or it goes... So we don't want fireworks in the microwave. No silver or gold on the mug. We're going to pop your butter into that mug. So you have to go ahead and do that for me. Um, bar then Yamina asking how much one and a quarter cup in grams. Don't worry about those measurements. We only needed the butter measure. We will measure the other ingredients together. So don't worry about that. Okay, we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so the butter now, I want you to put your 80 grams of butter into your microwave, or you can have a parent help you there, for 30 seconds. So I want you to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So Yaki will go and do that for me. So you guys go and pop your butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. And Zayla, what have you been doing over half time? Homework. From four, lots of homework from four. Um, have you got anybody here? I don't know. Large pan size cookie. Yeah. yeah, they made a giant size cookie. Okay, so everyone who's just joined, butter in the microwave, in a microwave mug for 30 seconds. We want it nice and melted. When it beats and it's ready, always hold the handle or ask an adult to help you. It will be hot. Hold the handle, or parents, if you're listening, please help them, and remove the butter and bring it back to your table. And I want you to type in done in the comments below. So when you are done, type in done. Okay. We should get allergies to something there. So we have very, very runny, runny, great, fantastic. We've got lots of things there. Yeah. Runny, 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 runny butter. If you've got some butter still unmelted in there, but most of it's melted, it's okay. If you use a spoon and mix it and then leave it alone, it should melt it down. So don't worry too much. If most of it is not melted, then you may need to do another 10 seconds. Fantastic. I'm just going to give it another 10 seconds, I'm waiting for everyone to catch up. Talia, done. Hey, Talia. Talia, yeah, yeah. Talia. Nice to see you join us today, Talia. I hope you're having a great half term. Okay, so we've got this very top butter that's melted. We don't need this right now, but we're going to leave this to cool. So we're going to pop your butter on the side and we're going to forget about the butter. Okay, well done, Anushka. You're done as well. Okay, so everyone pop their butter on the side. We do not need the butter now. We're going to use it later. So the next thing we're going to do is get your bowl. Okay, we've got some people entering now. So we're going to get your bowl. So get one of your mixing bowls, anything that you have. I'm going to pop my dish behind me for later. Okay. So we get our measuring bowl, or our mixing bowl, sorry. And also, we are now going to get our sugar. Now we are using, what sugar is the same as? Brown. brown sugar. We're using light brown sugar. If you've got dark brown sugar or parsley sugar, it's fine. It will do. They will all make the same recipe. They may have a slightly different taste, but Mini Chef is all about making it nice and easy for you. So we've got our mixing bowl and our brown sugar. So what I want you to do, Maria, I think you're going to do this for me. I want you to either get your Ikea cup, okay, or the cup your mum's giving you. Or if you have, even better, are these little measuring cups for baking, okay, or if you have metal ones. Now, I need you to weigh out for your bowl, three quarters cup of brown sugar. So Chef Asi will put that in the chat below. That's fine, we're using dark brown sugar for me, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So here, I've put little markings for you. So if you can see, Mari, can you start going out three quarters cup of brown sugar for me, yeah? just below the top. So what I need you to do is get your sugar, and get your cup, and just like that, Start popping in there. And I do not want you to squash it down. 
don't squash it down. We need to keep it light and airy in there, okay? And I will show you. Mario's going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to show you how much. This is, got a bit of light reflection on there, okay? That there is three quarter cup. That's one cup. So we'll start from the bottom. Quarter, half, three quarter, and one. We need this much sugar. So if you can see, it's just that much, just that much from there, from the top. Okay, a little bit from the top. So three quarter cup of brown sugar. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm sorry, my staff is attacking Maria. So Maria is going ahead, she's spinning it up, but it won't be to the top because we only want three quarter cup. So parents, if you want to watch over, it's a great time to check on them. I think we're good, yeah? So let's have a little shake to see. How about that, Chris? Do you want to bring that to that? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost done already. Oh, somebody's done already. So as you can see, it's not full, but it's almost full, okay? So you've got about that much, about an inch from the top. So with that, yeah, you can pop it in your mixing bowl. So three quarter cup of brown sugar in your mixing bowl. And of course, I'm sorry if this is a bit slow for you. You have to remember some of our members today are only five years old. And of course, some of you are adults, so it goes all the way up. So if you are older and it's a lot easier if you, do bear with us. We want to make everybody enjoy this and be able to join in at their pace. Um, somebody's Jeffy. asking, um, how many grams is that? Okay. Um, unfortunately, we're not doing a gram measurement today, and I don't have the gram equivalent. So I, I suggest you use cups. If you don't have a, an IKEA cup, if you've got a plastic cup, any of those party cups, oh. Or even a, um, it can't be a glass for the different sizes. We are not using a mug, it's too big. Is it one and quarter cup? No, no, no. The sugar is, for this part of the recipe, I should have explained. So we have two parts of the recipe. For this part of the recipe, we only need three quarter cup of sugar. The rest of the sugar we will use later, okay? So three quarter cups of sugar. If you put too much here, and the ingredients are up and down, there will be a difference in your end product, okay? So try and follow. Three quarter cups sugar. So apologies, it's um, my mistake. Um, two or three people joined a little bit late, okay. so maybe that's why you get different questions. Okay, so those that have joined late, if you scroll up the chat, look for any comments by Chef Hasid, you will see any updates along the way, so you'll be able to catch up. Okay, so three quarter cups of sugar in there. Now into that, we are going to put two tablespoons of cocoa powder. That's the cup, guys. That's the cup. That's three quarter marking at the top. Okay, so we're going to now put two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So if you get your cocoa powder, you can either use one of these. Yeah, yeah, you can use only tablespoon measure of bread near with the wash the back. Got to bring it right at the back. That's it. So you can use a normal eating tablespoon, like the spoon your parents eat with, or if you have, that's fine. You can bring it. Yes, yeah, fine. Bring it. Fine. Or if you have a measuring tablespoon, perfect. So we're going to pop two of these into our brown sugar. Okay. Fine. Then we have two of those into our brown sugar. Not too heat. So we don't want a mountain full and we don't want it too flat. We just want a nice amount. So let me do the first one for you, okay? And we're going to use this for the first one. So about that much. It's a nice normal tablespoon, not too much and not too little. Okay, so that's one into the brown sugar. Ooh, someone's beating you, we're getting a someone's race beating, on you. I know. That's, that's Is this amount. okay? We're going to put that down, sorry? Is this okay? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I can't see. Share the you will have to. Put on Sephora. Brilliant. Chef and Steve says you're perfect. Okay. If you're oh, please mute yourself. Sorry, could you all please mute yourself? Could you please all thank you very much? So if you're using a measuring spoon, fill it so it's more, mm -hmm. and then use the back of the spoon to level it out like that. Okay? So that's the second one. So that's two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So Chef and Steve, if you could write there, three quarter cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now with a fork, I've got rainbow fork, but with a fork, I'd like you to mix that up for me. So Maria, 
We're going to mix that up and we're going to take chocolate sand. Look at that, that's going to be awesome. We're going to mix that up so the chocolate mix really well with the cocoa powder. Chocolate mm -hmm. and the cocoa powder? That's what I'm saying. Well, high five. High five. I hope you guys got that right because I'm mixing chocolate with cocoa powder and going completely bonkers over here. Okay, Zayn, are you ready for the next part? Yeah. Great. So Mari's going to go on the side over there. She's going to keep mixing that up. Once it's mixed, you can pop that dry mixture on the side. We don't need it anymore. Next bowl. Can you get yourselves another bowl? Done. Somebody's done. Fantastic. So now we want to move on to your second mixing bowl. If you don't have a second mixing bowl, run and get one for me, okay? So we're going to use our next mixing bowl. Next mixing bowl. Okay, it's Zayna's turn. Okay, Zayna, to this mixing bowl, okay, we are going to add... Where am I? Oh, yeah, I went a bit... So we are going to add... We're going to start again with our sugar. So a new bowl and more sugar. We are going to put half a cup of brown sugar. So Zainab, if you want to use our measuring, we're going to use our measuring cup. I'm going to show you where to do it on that. So Zainab, you can use that. Half a cup of brown sugar, which is just there. Half a cup, if you're giving my kid up, half a cup of brown sugar into your new mixing bowl. Go ahead, Zainab. Okay, Mario, let me come in. Go, got done. Okay, so Zainab's going to go and weigh it out in here, but she's going to use a spoon. Now, you want to hold it first? And remember, we don't press it down. If we press it down, we are compacting the sugar. And if we compact the sugar, we can get more in, and it won't be half a cup, it will be much more sugar than we need. So nice and light and fluffy. So that's about half a cup of sugar. Okay, we've got a measuring cup, so that's fine. We're going to pop that in our other bowl. Thank you, Zayda. Now, again, when you've done that, I want done in the comments below because I don't want to go too fast with those. We're going to pop the brown sugar with them. In a new bowl, yes, in a new bowl. So half a cup of brown sugar. Chef, let's see if you can that up. Half a cup of brown sugar, fantastic, in a new bowl. Now, again, it, it feels like we're doing deja vu. And do you all know what deja vu is? Yes. When you feel like you've done this before. So again, we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Again, to this new bowl of sugar. Okay, so Maria, you want to add that one? So two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Mine is called sugar. That should be fine. Don't worry, whoever said that, that's fine. Make sure you level it off, Bobby. You're going to level it off this up for me. There you go, pop that in. So that now, you, you did it. Okay, that's fine. That should be enough. Okay, lovely, lovely. So Chef Steve, if you could just in the second, are there any, uh, okay, you're, you're checking the comments, yes, yeah. see? Okay, well, someone is mentioning that they're using salt sugar. Okay, that's fine. If that's the only sugar you can get hold of, that's fine. It is better to use pasta or light brown or a softer baking sugar, but it's fine. If that's all you have this time around, that's fine. Next time, do try and get the other ingredients. It will taste that little bit much better. Well done, Talia. Talia is done as well. So we have half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Did I say that right? Yes. I did, I did, because I'm a forget mini chef. Not a mini chef, I'm a big chef, <laughs> I'm forgetful. Okay, now we are going to go to our flour and this is self-raising flour. Who can tell me in the comments, what is the difference between self-raising flour and plain flour? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to type it in the chat. Or if you want to speak, you can raise your hand. What is the difference between self-raising flour and plain flour? We've got some hands, Jeff, see if you could choose someone. Let's speak, then we'll move on. We have Zainab Khan. Oh, um, Zainab Khan? Zainab with a Y. Um, and I know who you to. The difference is that self-raising flour um, raises, like, when yes. it's in the oven. Yes, well done, perfect, fantastic. And what was your name? Zainab Khan. Zainab Khan. That's her name. She has a name double out there. Well, so, that's that's Zainab with an I. Zainab with an I. With a y. With a y. Well done, Zainab. That's exactly correct. So, self-raising flour already has 
a kind of baking powder mixed inside it. You don't need to add it. And it does this magic rising in the oven and that's exactly what we need. So we are going to now add one cup of self-raising flour to your bowl. So this is the bowl that we've just been working on. Somebody's raised their hand. Is that mm -hmm. one cup? I'm putting that in and just right to me. So that's a few. whole cup of self-raising flour. It's uh, Thalia. Yeah. My cocoa powder is dark. That's fine. Dark cocoa powder is even nicer because it gives a really nice, rich chocolate taste. So well done if you found that one in the shop. So we're doing one cup of self-raising flour. Chef, please, you can pop it in the... Uh, we have Talia who wants to speak, Chef, please. One moment. The boy here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. yeah, he didn't have his wheat to this morning. He's a bit slow with this, isn't he? Come on, Talia, you need to help him out. Excuse me. Yeah, if, who am I speaking to? Amber, is it one whole cup of self-raising flour? Yes, well done. One whole cup. Right to the top. No doubt. Right to the top self-raising flour. Don't push it down. Let it be nice and fluffy in there, okay? Um, Talia yeah. has a question. Yeah. Talia? It was um, for before the la the with the um, baking soda. Baking powder. Baking powder. Sorry, I didn't get the I didn't get the last I just got the baking powder word. I didn't get the sentence before. It was for the question about baking powder. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, that. No, it was, she was going to tell the answer. That was all. Oh, okay. So, Tanya, you well done, Tanya. You can teach Yagya about these things at school, can't you? <laughs> well done, Tanya. And you were right, probably. I'm sure you knew the correct answer. So, one, when you have asked a question or if you don't need to speak again, then try and lower your hands. So, yes? So, somebody, uh, two or three people are asking that the this ingredient a second bowl or a newer bowl? Second bowl. So the bowl we've just been working on. Half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa powder and one cup, one cup right to the top of self-raising flour. So we're going to chuck it in there, okay? We're going to chuck it in there. Right. Don't forget to tidy up as you go along. Mums and dads love tidying up, okay? So don't forget to tidy up as you go along. Keep yourself some tissues or a tea towel near you and you can wipe up as you go along. So what we're going to do now, Maria, our super mixer, is going to mix it up for me. So mix up your flour, sugar, and cocoa powder. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, brilliant. So you're going to stick out the tea towel. We're going to have to tidy up while you guys mix up your little dry ingredients. So as you've noticed, we've got three dry ingredients in that bowl, in the second bowl. Okay, we're going to call it bowl one, bowl two, and we will have a bowl three. I think Alishka has a question. Uh, I think it's Dana. Dana Barn has put a hand up again. Yeah. Uh, can we mix it with a fork or should we mix it with like a spatula? Anything you like, honey. It's dry ingredients, so it's okay. You can use a spoon, a fork, or a spatula. Just mix it up and it will be fine. Same me too. Well done, Hannah. Alishka, they want the same question. Okay. So mix that up and it will look a bit like grey sand, okay? We've got some grey sand here. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning and show you what we have now. Okay. So we have bowl number one that looks like chocolate sand, which we did earlier and we left it on the side. We have, careful girls, we have bowl number two, which looks like grey sand, and there's a lot more in there. Oreo. Looks like Oreo crumbs. That's and now we're going to work on bowl number three. So if you don't have a third bowl, you can go and grab one now. So bowl number three. So this is now the wet ingredient, okay? Now for wet ingredients, we are going to start off with... I have a question. Uh, is, it, is it okay if the bowl is not in plastic? Sorry, is it okay if the bowl is plastic? Uh, is not plastic if it's not plastic. Sorry, for the mixing? Yeah. Or for the oven? Uh, for the one that we're going to use, is it okay if it's not plastic? Okay, if you are, to, I, I'm confused before, you need to explain to me. If you are talking about mixing now for bowl one, two, three, any bowl is okay. It doesn't have to be okay. plastic, any bowl. Okay. But for, 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 the, for the baking to go in the oven, 
it cannot be plastic because it has to be in the oven. But this one, it can be plastic, glass, metal, anything you have just to mix some ingredients, okay? okay. Oh. Okay, fantastic. Um, have you seen? Don't forget to check some of these. All right, so now we're going to get one egg, everybody. We're going to get one egg. Now, before you touch your egg, if you're not confident cracking eggs, we're going to do a little egg cracking. Assessment. Assessment? Um, we've got. No. Amara has a question. Amara has a question. Go ahead, Amara. Um, you haven't told us what, what we are baking. I know, because it's a surprise! <laughs> so, this is like always a surprise base. So this one is a surprise. So, you will so see it at the end Amara of the day. Amara wants to know, like, Amara wants to know, like, mm. cake. Like, your mom wants to know. Wait. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> Mommy, Mommy must wait. Okay? Mommy must wait. Yeah. All right, if you guys could mute yourself, we're going to move on now. So I have an egg here, and I have two bowls, okay? I want you to either crack it straight into a big bowl if you're confident, or you can use another bowl to crack it into check the shell, and then you can put your shell in something to throw away. Okay, so Maria is our master egg cracker. Aren't you, Maria? Yeah! So she's going to go ahead and crack an egg. So can you please answer our question? Okay, from Hannah. Can she's you check? saying, what do we do now? Sorry, uh, Elizabeth, type in the chat. We don't know what your question is. Okay. So, Maria, if you go ahead and I'm going to actually let me show them how to crack an egg. You could hold your egg up like a soldier. So, I don't want you to do it yet. This is for those children who have never cracked an egg. If you've done this, go ahead and do it. So, hold your egg up like a soldier. And then, when we go to the surface, we do crack, crack, crack. And then, when you hear the noise, not too hard, crack, crack, crack. You'll hear it crack. And I want you to lift it up. Put your thumb into the bit that's cracked and make a heart shape and hold it upside down like this. And then gently push your thumb, not the top, gently push your thumbs up into the crack and open like a door. So we're going to do that again. So hold it like a soldier. Crack, crack, crack. You can hear it crack. Hold it like a heart. Push your thumbs up and open it like a door. And Maria is going to do exactly like that. Put it in here. Is that the third bowl? Sorry? Is that the third bowl we're putting it into? No, we're going to do it in a small bowl so we can show you. If you want to put it straight into your third bowl, you can do that. Okay? Go ahead, Maria. Crack, crack, crack. We heard it. Hold it like a heart. And open it like a door. Did you see that, everyone? Nice and easy. Oh, wrong one. Put the shells in there. Okay. So when you're only using one egg, we're only using one egg. So once we've done that, you can hold your bowl and you can swirl it gently. When you swirl it, you can have a look to see if there's any shells. So you know, if you could bring the thing down a little bit, we can show them how we do that. Put it down there. There you go. So we're going to swirl it. We're going to swirl that yolk. A bit more down. A bit more down, 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 down. That's it. So if you do that, you can see if there's any shells at the bottom of the bowl. And if there are, there's two ways of removing that. Have a look at this. Turn it this way. See more? We're just going to drop the screen. There, perfect. So there's two ways of doing that. Either you use a wet finger to take out that shell, or, don't go, Mario, you use a cracked shell to scoop it out. And that would work, okay? So once you've got your egg with no shell in your mixing bowl, I've just poured it in. We are ready to give it a little whisk. So yeah, yeah, you can whisk up that egg for me. I want you to put done once you've whisked up your egg. And the way we whisk, everyone, is not like this with our elbow. We definitely look like we're riding a horse, don't we? You only need your and your fist. Is your fist around. or your wrist? Your wrist. <laughs> Turn it round, round. Well done. So let's show how we do that. We are just moving our wrist in an oval movement. Can you see this? Oval movement. A long oval. And we're just moving our wrist. And we are done. Well done. They are it done. Yaya yeah, is really concentrating. <laughs> okay. So we have the egg. Then if you could come and do the next stage for me, please. We are going to now going to get another Ikea cup. 
Oh, well, loads are flooding in now. Everyone's or you done. can use the same IKEA cup, whichever you like. I'm going to show you this for measuring. We are going to do half a cup of milk. Half a cup of milk. So Dana's going to pour that in there for me. And that, my lovelies, is there. So right there, half a cup of milk. Try not to have too much milk. It has to be nice and half. Parents, if you could check it. Egg-tastic, lovely. Half a cup of milk. Question? Are we allowed to use like actual like um, um half a measuring cup? Yes, of course you can. That's even better. It's easy for you. If you have a measuring cup, go ahead and write. Um, Chef Hasib, you have muted um yourself. If you can unmute. You are muted. Chef, so Done. Um, just to uh, correct you again, uh, Big Chef Sophie, your mic is uh, muted. There you go, much better. Sorry, guys, I think you accidentally muted. Can you all hear me now? If I could just get a yes or thumbs up. Yes. So I'm not sure for how long we were muted. So, okay, so we know to put half milk into our egg bowl. Yeah? Thumbs up, guys. Got no comments coming on, so I'm a bit wary about if we are still connected properly. No, we are. We are? Have we got half a cup of milk, anyone? Yay! We're definitely there. Half a cup of milk. One egg, half a cup of milk. Now to that, I want you to go back to your melted butter. Do you remember our melted butter? Yeah. Brilliant, Harley, well done. So Maria, could you pour the melted butter into, into the egg and milk? Should we whisk the egg? So maybe you can mm -hmm. whisk it before, or you can just whisk it when the ingredients are in there together. So the wet ingredients are in together now. We have half, half a cup of milk, we have one egg, and we have the melted butter from earlier all into there. That is our three wet ingredients. Go ahead. And just mix those. It will take you 10 seconds. Yeah, we're going to mix that up. So you can see it all slurping around in there. Okay? So don't worry. You will see that your melted butter is kind of still on the top. It doesn't really mix in very well. But that's fine. That's how we like it. Okay. So who can tell me how many bowls of ingredients do we have? How many bowls of ingredients do we have? In the chat. Three. 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 Someone said three already. Alicia says three. Thank you guys for putting it in the chat. Well done. We've got Inaya Sheikh. She said three. Fantastic. Fizzler, Ibrahim, three. Yes, yeah, perfect. We're going to go through these again. So we've got the dark chocolate sand. Whoops. Man, I know I'm dropping it. This one, the dark chocolate, we don't want this one. Leave it on the side. Okay? Leave the dark chocolate on the side. We want your three ingredient wet. And your grey dry, okay? We just want these two bowls. So once you have those two bowls, we can move on. We are now going to do a quick tidy up. So we have Zainab Khan again with her hand raised. Yeah. And I help you, Zainab. Not so, you. So is it the cocoa powder and flour and the egg? Yeah, that's it. And then the wet ingredients. So you've got the, the grey looking cocoa powder, our self raising flour and sugar, mm -hmm. which was mixed in earlier. And then we've got the egg uh, butter and the milk also. So the dark one, which is this one, we're going to leave on the side, okay? You had a bit for me had a question as well. Yep. Um, Big Chef, were we supposed to mix the wet ingredients? With them, you mean together by the No, no. Not yeah, just in uh, the wet ingredients. Yeah, you can do. I mean, if you whisk your egg before, then you'll be fine because it, it should be mostly whisked. But if you just give it once over, then at least the milk and the egg will mix them together quickly. Okay? So, just before you yeah, continue, uh, Juelia has asked uh, rather than a mixture of butter, bit that's okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, Juelia, your butter did not melt properly. It's not the end of the world. Uh, hopefully, it's just a few butter bits, but we did need melted butter. So uh, maybe you did come a little bit later, but we did say if it's not melted, leave it. It should fully melt. If it doesn't, pop it back in the microwave for 10 seconds. But it's okay. If you didn't do that, if it's only a few butter bits, it's okay. It'll be okay. 
Also, okay. um, Leila Ali is asking, was one cup of flour mixed with cocoa? It was one cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa, and it was half a cup of sugar, okay, in that second box. Okay, Zainab, if you guys could pop. Thank you, Zainab. Right, we are now going to pour our wet ingredients over our dry, so those two bowls we have. Okay, so the wet ingredients are going to go in the gray looking flour mixture. Zainab, go ahead. And then you can get mixing up for me, okay? Pour that all in for me. And make sure you get all of that out. Use the patch to put that. Then if we don't want to lose any of that wet ingredient. So you have your things. What do you think? I think it looks like an active volcano that's been flooded with lava. As Yaki would say. So it's an active volcano, apparently, that's been flooded <laughs> with lava. Very interesting. Thank you for that, Yaki. Okay, now you need to go and stand over there. Thank you. Right, so if you could mix that up now, you can fold it, you can mix it. As long as it all comes together like a gloopy chocolate paste, that's what we're looking for. So go ahead, get that going. Mix it all in. If you need help from your parents, just give them a shout. So parents, um, please make sure your ovens are preheated. This needs to go into a hot oven. So at the beginning of our session, we did say that the oven needed to be preheated at 160 if you have a fan oven, or 180 if you do not have a fan. And also gas marks for upside. Uh, yes. Dana Khan, uh, yes, so um, Mine is turning into a kind of a dough. Is it a dough? Is it, a, is it runny, like a thick custard? No. Have you have you mixed it all in together properly? Yeah, yeah, I've okay. mixed all of it, but it's like right, you need to look at something. Mine looks like a chocolate custard. It's kind of like a batter flour. That's it. It needs to look like this, guys. Okay. If it's too thick and hard, I think you just melt the butter, or you've missed one of the wet ingredients. Are you sure you put the half a cup of milk? Yeah, that's fine. Half a cup of milk, the one egg, and 80 grams of melted butter that we just put in. Wait, I'll just show you how it looks. Okay, show the seed of One moment. It should look like this, guys, okay? Mm, okay, okay, it should look like that. So we have a question from Amara. Amara, if you'd like to unmute. Um, let's have a look. It looks pretty good. Elizabeth is quite good today now. Okay, see, Amara needs to speak. Amara, could unmute. It looks like chocolate custard. Yes! Brilliant, excellent. And who else has got their hand raised? We have a number two. Who has their hand raised? Is it supposed to look like this? Eliza? Could it, could it be because um, the egg is like a smaller egg? If it, it, it was very small, but it shouldn't make a pressure for this. But if it's mixing, does it not drop at all? Does the mixture not do this at all? No, um, no, it doesn't fall. Okay, so you definitely put half a cup of milk, yeah? Yeah, I, I used a measurement. Okay, and you definitely put 80 grams of melted butter? Yeah, 80 grams. Um, there was no lumps. Yes. And there was no lumps. Okay, um, did you use small egg? Don't be sure if it was small egg. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Okay, well, okay. So you have to ask your parents to help. If, it, if you think it was a small egg, because I can't see your ingredients here. Um, it should be quite a thick custard like this. You can always go ahead and add another quarter of an egg. So whip up a separate egg and just put a tablespoon in there or two, okay? But not the whole egg, all right? Try that until you've got that, okay? All right, then we're going to now get our dish. You do not need to do anything with your dish. We are going to be serving in this dish. So you don't need to line it, you don't need to drink it. It's absolutely fine. Sophie. Yes, yeah, sorry, who's speaking? Um, Ellis. Sorry, who? Ellis. Ellis, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What can I help you with? Where do you put the wet mixture? Do you put it in bowl number one or two? Okay, so um, just I'm going to pop that in our serving bowl. So everyone who has, sorry, everyone who completed that, I want you to. Pour that chocolate 
mixture into your serving bowl, the one that will be going in the oven, okay, your oven dish. Ellis, as for your question, this is bowl number one with the very dark chocolate and just the sugar, yeah? We are not using that yet. Bowl number two had the flour, the sugar, and the cocoa. So it's like a grey, kind of grey Oreo mixture looking colour, yeah? Okay. And bowl number three was the wet ingredient. We are just mixing the bowl number three of wet with the grey coloured flour in it, okay? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. No worries, you can mute yourself now. I've got a question. Someone's asking, can we grease the uh, dish? No, you don't need to grease the dish because it's not a shape that you will flip out. It's something you will serve from whatever you bake it in. So it's absolutely fine. So as you can see, Dana is eating raw mixture. Yucky, yucky. We are going to use our spatula to really clear that bowl up. We really want to put those ingredients out. Got a question from Amber. Yeah. Go ahead, Amber. Going to spread that out a little bit as well, just gently. Who was that? Well, if it's thick, it needs to be thick. If it's thick, like gloopy, thick custard, it needs to be like that. Please do not add milk or any other ingredient unless you think you've done it wrong, because you don't need more ingredients. For the rest of the coffee, you can fix it. I, okay. I, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I think mine is too clear. Okay. Uh, Did you use cocoa powder? Yeah, but it looks How like. How do you? Uh, uh, I didn't hear you. How much cocoa powder did you use? Uh, uh, the uh, three spoon. Three spoon? Did you not use two big tablespoons? Yeah, I did. Uh, I I used three. Uh, Three of our spinners there. Three of them, we were using two. It should have been there. One cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, not chocolate drinking chocolate, cocoa powder, which is actually what I said in the ingredients. It can't be drinking chocolate, it has to be cocoa powder. And then it's the sugar, half cup of sugar. You'll have to ask mommy to have a look at what she put in the different ingredients, okay? And hopefully you can figure out what went wrong there. Um, okay, we're going to have to move on now. So we have popped this all into the baking dish. Now is where the really interesting part comes. So Mario, if you could come over here for me. We're going to go back to our chopped dark chocolate sand mix. And um, Chef, see if you could lower the um, camera. And this. There is a lot of this, okay? So I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, that's a lot. But it is going to look like a lot. Keep going down. There you go, perfect. Stay there. Okay, Maria, I'd like you to come over here. Take this, take this crumble, and I want you to crumble it all over the top. We do not want to put our fingers in the cake batter. I just want you to put the crumble all over the top. Yeah, you want to have a go? Uh, until you have none left. So we are going to cover all the corners, all the edges. So if you take a handful and you put your hand like a spout and then you can just sprinkle it over, okay? Keep going until you've got none left and it will look like a lot of sand on the top. That's fine. This is where the magic will happen. Make sure you're not putting it in one place, okay? We want to keep moving with our hands so every area is covered. That's it, keep going. Just like you're putting this on a picture. We don't want it in one place. We want to keep going until it's fully covered. In the meantime, mums and dads, if you could go and switch on your kettle, we're gonna get some water boiling, kids. So while the little ones are busy sprinkling over their chocolate dust, you're gonna have to come and put the camera on. Yeah, pop, pop the kettle on. Adults, I want you to go on top of the camera down, angle the camera itself downwards. We're just readjusting our camera for you guys. There you go, perfect. A little bit higher, please. Yeah, my head was dropped off. The camera itself. Right. Very slightly. Keep crumbling over your face. You will see it will look like so much. Wow, we can't even see that chocolate cake anymore. I bet you can't either. It just looks 
like a bowl of chocolate sand. So that's fine. That's exactly what we want. Is somebody lining their team? Yes. Okay. If what have you lined your tin with? Have you lined it with paper? You do not need to line your tin. You should not line your tin. Somebody has lined their tin, so I'm just checking. Okay, that's fine. If it's parchment mm -hmm. paper, it's okay. Next time, don't line your tin. But if it's parchment paper, it's okay. If it's foil, there may be a little problem because sometimes when you try and scoop the dish out, the foil would come up with the spoon. But that's fine. It's best not to line your tin. But like I said, paper, then it's okay. It's done now. Next time, try not to do that. Um, okay, parents, if you could boil the kettle for me. If you are old with the children and you are happy and your parents are happy to go ahead and do the next part, go ahead and do the next part. I'm going to show you first. So parents, can you please watch and then you can go ahead and do it after me. Um, what we're going to do now, is someone speaking? Would they like to do themselves, please, unless they have a question? Um, I'm guessing this is a cake. Because Wow, it's kind of a cake, but this is a magic thing. It does something very, very interesting, and I'm going to show you afterwards, because I've got one made before, okay? So what I want your parents to do now, or if you're doing it, pour your kettle and get a whole mug of hot boiling water, okay? Or one and a half cup of boiling water. Well done, Alishba. I think you've got the correct test down there. Okay, so one whole mug, big mug, not a cup, a big mug of hot boiling water. Now the exact measurement is actually one and a half cup of boiling water. Watch me and then you can go ahead and do it after me. <clears throat> so what we do now is with the back of the spoon, I think, can you bring it down for me again, please? Sorry. Yeah. So with the back of the spoon, I'm going to put the spoon upside down over my plate. What this does is it stops the boiling water hitting the chocolate cake and ruining it. We want it to pour on there gently. I may get some spillage, so please excuse me. This is not easy. So we've got our very hot, freshly boiled water, and I'm going to pour it over my spoon. And as I pour it, I'm going to keep the spoon moving. And what that's going to do is going to cover the whole cake and all that chocolate mess. So what we don't want to do is play with that, okay? And it will look like a chocolate swimming pool. If you could raise it up, that's it. That is very hot. And the reason why I said, okay, how much water? One and a half cup. So one and a half cup of boiling water straight out of the kettle. See, can you turn the camera over the thing? So that is very hot. The reason why I said watch us first is because you may want to do this closer to your oven so you don't have to walk too far with it, okay? So closer to your oven is a good idea. Do not pour this directly in one place without a spoon, the back of the spoon. It will hit your pudding, it will hit the chocolate and it will ruin the underneath. It needs to gently be spread across the whole lot naturally by itself. Now, go ahead and do that and then pop this in your oven for 35 minutes. So, Chef Asi, if you could pop in the chat below, one and a half cup of fresh boiling water, gently topped topped with one and a half cup of freshly boiled water or one big mouthful of hot water. If it's um, just boiled, is that okay or does it have to be fresh? Just boiled or fresh? It's just kind of funny. Should we let him off for that one? Not funny! Boring joke, everyone! Yay! <laughs> I use only one mug for stuff. Yeah, I use one mug, but the correct measurement is one and a half cup. So if you have a big mug, you could measure cold water in it and check, is that one and a half cup? Then you can use that mug and put hot boiling water over your plate. And I'm going to get that into the oven straight away. So it needs to go in the oven straight away. Zainab has a question. Zainab Khan, that is, with a Y. Okay, Zainab, one second. I can answer your question. Yeah. The chef can see is going to pop it in the oven while it's nice and hot. It just goes in the middle shelf oh, and for 35 minutes. Middle shelf. For 35 minutes, very gently take it to the other mums and dads. This is the most important part of the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Well, because you get to be involved. No, it's the part. And the, 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 the scariest part is when we take anything baked out of the oven, we can shake the people will eat it. That's <laughs> with the hiding. Okay, then the final part of the question. 
Um, my question got answered when you said middle shelf. I was going to ask what shelf. <laughs> oh, what shelf? Middle shelf, yeah. Generally, the baking like to get a big middle shelf because that is where the air, the heat will circulate evenly around the middle in the oven. In the oven. If you have a fan oven, let me explain to you, mini chefs, what a fan oven is. So a fan oven is where you have hot air, heat, sorry, you have heat coming into the oven, but at the back you have the big fan or at the top, and it pushes that heat so it evenly spreads in the oven. So you won't get hot bits and dark bits and, and cold bits. So it will evenly cook. But if you don't have a fan, then sometimes it's safer to keep it in the middle because you know that's the safest place for that heat will be moving around and you should get an even base. So did we have a question in the chat? I just saw something. One, nothing for now. Nothing for now. Okay, so tell me guys when you're done, put it in the comments below. Oh, so is it for 35 minutes? 35 minutes for 160C. 160C is the heat of your oven kids, okay? In the time of the Ms. Brahim is going for some extra bonus points saying that they didn't spill anything. They didn't spill. Did anyone spill? Listen, all I want to know is nobody burnt themselves, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, mission impossible. Let's hope. Okay, so the magic for this dessert happens in the oven. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there. And then Chef the Seed is going to keep you busy in the background. And so are these guys. Because I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to get when that comes out of the oven. The other thing you need to know is this dessert is a, is a delicious pudding. So those that said pudding were bang on correct. So it's a delicious pudding, but it needs to be eaten fairly soon. So when it's hot, it needs to be eaten. Not so it burns you, but eat it almost within the hour. Because after that, it will kind of soak up all that moisture and it won't be the same. It'll still be nice, but it's best eaten hot. I'm going to go and show you what I've made earlier. These guys are going to keep you busy for one minute. Just before they keep you busy, I need the fastest fingers. Does an egg come from a hen or a chicken? Hen. Oh, they were supposed to be one of the fastest fingers, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What we can do is that uh, Maria and Yahya are going to stay quiet. Okay. People at home, listen to the voice carefully. Okay. What came first? The chicken. The hen or the egg? Fastest hand, fastest typing. Maria, you can come first. Egg. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see who types first. Wait, well, I'll hold some questions about that. Oh, hen. Someone's asked a question. Amara, let's see. Amara. Big chef, Brother Hasib, you are muted. If you could uh, unmute, please. Um, Big Chef, you are muted. You need muted. to unmute. Um, Big Chef, you are muted. Could you unmute, please? Sorry, guys, I think I got muted again. You're going to get this delicious cake that will bake and rise from underneath and push oh, up. Yeah, it does rise. So it's going to bake and it's going to rise up. And what will happen with cake and what will happen with that water and that chocolate sprinkle, that will mix together and go under the cake when it cooks. The cake will come up and that all that water will go down and will turn in its own chocolate sauce. So you will have a hot chocolate pudding with its own chocolate sauce. Now, how amazing is that? We've paired up with some raspberries and some cream, but I'm telling you guys, this is absolutely delicious. So best have it warm. You can have it with ice cream, you can have it with custard. I think you can have it with ice cream. I think, I think, she's got cocoa powder on the They don't have custard. I think I'm a raspberry oh. kind of fresh bean kind of girl. Oh, yeah. So this is one for me. So go ahead, do enjoy it. 
35 minutes, no longer, because if you cook it for slightly too much, you'll have no chocolate sauce, okay? And you'll just have cake. So this is a self-sourcing chocolate pudding. You guys are gonna love this. How fun was that? Super easy. You have a question? Or somebody would like to talk tomorrow? Mara, yes. Anyone would like to speak? That looks yummy. It is absolutely delicious. Mums and dads, you can make this in like two seconds, I'm telling you. It's very easy. And this is a simplified version. Of course, it can get more complicated. You can add more flavors in the rest of it. You can add chocolate chips. But I'm telling you, if you've got guests coming, and you don't know what to cook, you know, pop this in the oven when you take the dinner off the table. Within half an hour, when you get the teas out, that pudding will be ready. It's super easy, you can't fail you. When it comes out of the oven, the top may look a little bit dark in patches. That's just where the cocoa powder is cooked a bit more. Don't worry, it's not burnt. It will be absolutely fine. But I do warn you, do not bake it for too long. You want the gooey sauce, you want the chocolate sauce. Over baking, you will have no sauce left. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, Talia is smiling. Is it nice? Tell Talia how <laughs> yeah, nice it is. It's really good. You want to eat this food. Okay, we also babe. have um, Iman who has raised her hand. Okay, go on, Iman, what would you like to say? Thank you for helping us bake. I hope it's going to taste delicious. It is. And thank you for joining us. And you know what the best thing is, Iman? It is going to smell amazing in your house. One of the ways you can tell something is almost ready is because your house will waft of the smell of the baked food. And that's a good key to know you're nearly there, or you're kind of there. Yeah? Um, Leila, so Ali, also raise her hand. Yes, um, Leila? Well, it's Leila's mum. She's a bit embarrassed to speak now. So oh, I'll just... Oh, mum, did mummy want to speak for her? Um, firstly, she says, thank you so much. She had a lovely um, time baking with you all. Uh, we had a bit of a disaster. Our cake tin leaked, so the water went everywhere. Uh, I've tried to save it by putting it in a lasagna dish. We'll see what happens. But next time, we'll do it ourselves again and um, have the proper dish. Definitely. That's absolutely fine. Look, at the end of the day, you gave it a shot. And as soon as happened, we all had them. And we've had some of the worst ones in the kitchen <laughs> behind the scenes. But now you have the recipe you know. And you've saved it. You put it in a lasagna dish. Lasagna dishes are perfect for this. You can even double the recipe next time when you've got guests coming over after this lockdown, of course. So... Thumbs up, everyone, if you enjoyed it. Anyone else want to say anything before we go? Can I just add something uh, very quickly? Yes, you can. Yes, yeah, so uh, just to let everyone know that um, if something went wrong, you can always go on to our YouTube channel and watch this video again. It's all recorded. And if you want to do more cooking sessions, there's about 10 uh, previous sessions that have been recorded as well. So you're more than welcome to go back onto our YouTube channel and, um, you know, view them as well. And subscribe to our channel and like the videos, inshallah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yes, definitely. they're all on YouTube. You can follow them live. Of course, they are previously live recordings, but they will be quite long. But the ingredients are So remember how to take it Chef Asif. We have a few uh, things coming through. Um, mainly, um, they've enjoyed it very much and would like to know when the next one is. And also, one relating to today's bake is um, one person is saying they can see a little bit of water on top of it. Is that okay? Okay. You need to see lots of water, okay? You yeah. need, it needs to be flooded with water before it goes in there. That is absolutely fine. That water will go under the cake. The cake will bubble up and that water will turn into this sticky, lovely chocolate sauce. If you, I mean, if your parents remember a chocolate cake and chocolate custard at school, this is like a better version of that in one bowl, okay? So, um, yes, so that's absolutely fine. Um, as for the other questions, this was a one-off Manisha Clive. And, I, you know, if you guys watch regularly again, I know we did it last year, every week, please let us know. Um, I do work full-time. We are, me and my husband, both key workers. My children go to full-time school still. So it would have to be a time that is appropriate for everybody. If it's something you guys definitely want, please pop it in the, um, text, send me a text message on WhatsApp and just request what kind of time works for you. And if I have enough interest, then of course, we will definitely do something for you guys. I have missed everybody, so this has been a great comeback. We have um, two hands up. One is from Fiz Brahim, and yes. then we will go to Zainab after one moment, Fiz. Okay, Fiz up first, Fiz Ibrahim. Thank you for the session. It was really, 
I we really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you guys. You guys have quite good stuff from the beginning. And I'm so grateful to have you lot. And I'm sure you guys are like the master makers in your house now. Watch out for me. And also, another yeah. thing. For the YouTubers, make sure to subscribe and like. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. And then we've got Zainab with a Y. Zainab, what you say? Um, this was my first um independent bake. Oh wow! wow. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is what our session are for to give you guys the confidence that you can do this on your own. And if you did this on your own, and even if you just needed that little bit of help with the voice board, but that's fine. If you didn't, even better. So you must be kept the top two. I'm super proud of you. Make sure you check out any old recipes of mine on YouTube. You can follow all of them. There's some amazing stuff on there for you guys to do super easy stuff. Would anyone else like to say anything? Is anyone else new today? Is there anyone on this first session as well? Because we will be wrapping up soon. You're basically done. I'm sure you've got some things to do. All right, we have uh, Amara, Fernanda. Session. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I don't know if Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Something's falling out of my cupboard. How often are these sessions going to be? Uh, we're well, going to finish now. We just got to go, guys. We'll see you soon. It's a one off. But if you want to watch, I'll go on and watch that one.